Hi foodies, it's your girl Jereen. Thanks so much for joining me again. Today I'm sharing with you some oven jerk chicken. So of course, you know the authentic way. We would need some pimento, wood and all of that nice stuff. But the oven is what I have and it's super convenient. So I'm going to be using that. And the flavor is still going to be really delicious. Just want to give this a lot of love. Alright, so let's get into this. Okay guys, so I have some dark meat, some chicken leg quarters that was cleaned in lemon juice and water and I'm just pricking the flesh just to help the marinade soak in even more. You can do this without the skin if you want to. I cook it with, I cook it without. It's a choice. I do find that leaving the skin on just helps to preserve more of the moisture but you know, do what you prefer. And I'm using a combination of two jerk marinades. So I just stirred them together and because I like the two. And then we're going to be adding some other seasonings because we cannot rely on just the jerk marinade for this chicken. We need some other things to, you know, add some more flavor. So I've added my nice fragrant green seasoning. This is nice and fresh. So, so good. And some Maggi seasoning as well. If you can't find the Maggi seasoning, then you can use your favorite all-purpose seasoning or chicken seasoning. some brown sugar because you guys know I love a little bit of sweetness to balance the savory and I'm going in with a little soy sauce also I will be adding some um, browning just to help with the darkness of the um, the chicken because we like love that nice charred dark look on our jerk chicken <laughs> So you can use your bare clean hand if you want to or you can use some tongs or use some gloves. For this I'd rather use the gloves just to make sure I rub everything in. Just give this chicken the best massage you possibly could. Put the marinade underneath the skin and just make sure everything is rubbed in nicely. So today I'm using a lined cookie sheet. I just put some foil wrap over it and I greased it just a little bit. You could also put a wire rack over this and put the chicken on it. Either way you're good. The only difference is the chicken is sitting in its own juices because you know with the rack of course air would circulate all around it. But either way you're still good. Mm -hmm. 
whatever marinade is left in that bowl guys do not throw it out you're gonna put it in a small pot on the stove with a little water and a little ketchup and some thyme if you want to and just keep it simmering because you're gonna need that to baste your chicken or to brush your chicken while it's baking so we shall be baking this for 25 minutes then here it is we take it out flip it over and baste it all over with a baster or a brush and then bake it again for another 20 minutes so this is how the chicken is looking guys really good so just baste it again and we're gonna put it back in the oven just to finish cooking we want it to look like um, we got it from a jerk center that nice charred look on the outside for this dish guys you'll notice that I'm not making a huge pot of sauce and pouring a lot of sauce on it because traditionally when we serve our jerk chicken in Jamaica we don't serve it with um, in sauce it's just the chicken simply really flavorful chicken and then sometimes some restaurants might give you some jerk sauce on the side so this is it guys it's out of the oven really nicely charred but juicy on the inside it is so good my HD camera is uh, making it look a little redder than it is but guys the smell is unbelievable so so good and of course like jerky style in Jamaica I like to chop it up and because I want to feel like I'm at home, I put it in some foil wrap. So here it is guys, our delicious oven jerk chicken. Nicely charred, nice and juicy inside, beautiful color. Are you one of those people that like to add hot sauce and ketchup to your jerk chicken or you eat it as is? Let me know in the comment section also we should let you guys know you could do this on the grill of course all right if you're about that condo life and you don't have a big grill then you have your oven so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video you have some chicken to go and season up right now bye guys